All right, with the universal defense system, it was designed to be easy to learn, easy to retain, and easy to apply. You won't have to think um, through a technique to defend yourself. You're going to be able just to respond immediately. You're going to go to the eye of the storm. You want to get to a place to where you can neutralize the person, neutralize the situation, and be in control, not only of the situation, but of the person. Um, so that's how it was designed. Next, we're going to break it down into those individual pieces, which are, one, the interview, two, the universal entry into a point of reference, then to a point of control. From your point of control, you're going to have different objectives, one being a separate and escape, that you just stop whatever's happening, and you're able to separate from the situation and escape. That's your number one goal. Two is sustained control. Um, for whatever reason, I have to control this person, um, whether I'm going to restrain them, whether I'm going to um, control them until they become compliant and cooperative, or um, I can apply also uh, mechanical restraints or medical or pharmacological restraints. Um, last objective would be to incapacitate them. That's where you're going to have to injure them. Um, and then you can either restrain them, you can separate and escape, whatever. Um, but at that point, there's a higher level of um, danger coming at you, and you're going to have to hurt them. And with that said, you're going to have to address that um, on your own, in that you responded there to help this person, but now they're trying to hurt you or attack you, and you're going to have to injure them. You're going to have to cross that mental boundary that I may have to initially hurt this person to help them in the long run. Um, but like I say, that's going to be a last resort. Our first resort, separate escape. Number two, sustain control.